please write everything you are putting into your lab notebook with blue or black pen. No pencil, please. So please get a blue or black pen before you begin. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Let's uh, set up that lab notebook you got in class today and take a look at how we're going to do our labs in chemistry. So the first page, the very first page of your lab notebook is going to be your table of contents. So please label this on top of the first page in your lab notebook. That will be page one. So please put page one at the bottom right of your notebook. This should be the next thing that you are writing at the top of that page. Experiment number, title, date, page or pages that that lab takes up, and then the partner that you have for that lab. For this lab, the very first lab we're doing today in class, it's experiment number one. The title is aluminum foil. The date is 9-11. And page, you're going to start on page two. You may go to page three depending on how big you write. You don't know who your partner is yet. We'll figure that out in class today or tomorrow, I should say, when we do the lab. The first, the next page in your lab, and we're only going to write on the right-hand side pages of your lab notebook, so you will not write on the backs of pages. So on that next page, which is page two, and please write that on the bottom right-hand corner of your lab notebook. On the second page, write a two. As you can see from the lab format that I gave you, there is an organization to the lab notebook page. It is in a rectangle on the lab format I gave you in class. At the top of every lab, the first page will be the title of the lab. And we are going to do the aluminum foil lab. So that should go at the top of that page. After that, you're going to put the date, which is right here, 9-11. The block, if you're in block 1, you say block 1. Block 2, say block 2. Block 3, say block 3. If you're in block 4, say block 4. Put your name right up here, and then your partner's name you don't know yet. But you can set up everything else at this point. The purpose. Sometimes I'll give you the purpose, and sometimes you may have to come up with the purpose. But the purpose of this first lab is we're going to find the thickness of aluminum foil. That is the goal of the lab. So all these things should be going into your lab notebook. If at any point I'm going too fast, just press pause. And you can press play again when you're ready to go. The procedure. Procedure is a little different than you've probably seen before. Procedure is in a flow, sh flow chart with pictures. So the first thing that you're going to do, and this time I'm going to do it with you, is you're going to have a piece of aluminum, which I'll just call Al, and we're going to cut the aluminum. And I'm going to put it put on there less than 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. The next thing you're going to do is take a ruler and this is just a picture of a ruler so every time we're going to draw a picture and this is Al or the aluminum foil and you're going to measure one side of that aluminum foil so this is signifying an eye looking at aluminum foil you're going to me measure to the correct number of sig figs the next step, still with the same piece, piece, piece of aluminum, you're going to measure the other side of the aluminum foil. Again, this is a ruler. Again, an eye, just signifying that you are looking at the ruler to make a good measurement. And then the last step, you're going to put the aluminum foil on a balance. That balance is going to be an analytical balance. And it's going to be 0 0.0001 grams 
is a very sensitive balance, and you're going to put L on that balance to get the mass of the aluminum foil. Those are the steps in picture form that you are going to put into your lab notebook. Rather than writing step one, cut the aluminum foil, step two, you're going to put it in picture form so you can do the, the lab. The next thing that's in your lab notebook says data. And when you get the data from the lab, you're going to make sure they're all in a data table, and all of them are to the correct number of sig figs, and all of them have units after them. So be sure you put them in a data table. Make sure they have units, and make sure they're up to the correct sig figs. I will be looking very carefully at how that data table is put together. So you do not have the aluminum foil lab handout yet. I attached it. So you can, you can open it up and see the handout that you'll get tomorrow. But at this point, you just need to leave some space for the data. And that can be the last thing you put in your lab notebook, because you don't want to cut yourself off and not have enough space. Actually, you can leave yourself a half of a page. You should have plenty of space for your data. So I would like to see all of this in your lab notebook. The next thing after data, so just write data and leave a half a page. The next thing is calculations. Again, leave yourself a half a page to do calculations. You may not need that much, but we're going to give you enough space to make sure you have enough space. You're going to show all of your calculations of how you got to the thickness of the aluminum foil. You're, you need to have units on all numbers that are used throughout the calculations. Every single number should have units on it. Make sure you're using the correct significant figures. So again, you've given yourself a half a page. So you're at least on the second page of your lab at this point. So on page three in your lab notebook. Again, we are not going to write on the backs of pages. So only on the right-hand side pages in your lab notebook. The next thing that you see in your lab format is questions. And you're going to be answering different questions depending on the lab. In this lab, again, at this point, you don't need to worry about how much space because that is the last thing that will be in the lab. And you will get the lab handout tomorrow to see the types of questions that you'll need to answer. Every person needs to have a good lab notebook. Please write everything that we're doing here in ink, not in pencil. Everything should be written in ink.